Welcome to today's Story Read Aloud. Make sure you subscribe to our page and like this video. And now, Pete the Cat and the Mysterious Smell. Written by Kimberly and James Dean. One day, at lunchtime, Pete and Grumpy Toad notice something peculiar. Pete sniffs the air. Ugh! Do you smell that? P-U, Grumpy Toad says. What is that smell? I hope it's not lunch, says Pete. No way, Grumpy Toad replies, because today is... Pizza, pizza day. day! The pizza smells great, says Grumpy Toad, rubbing his belly. It does, says Pete. But something else still stinks. Blah! What is that smell? Callie asks, joining the pizza line. I don't know, says Pete. But we have to find out. It's awful! Hmm, Callie thinks. Maybe it's some rotten radishes in the salad bar. Ew, gross, says Grumpy Toad. Did you find the smell? Asks Callie. No, I just don't like salad, Grumpy Toad says. Pete sniffs around the salad bar. Whoa, says Alligator. What is that smell? It's not rotten radishes, Pete replies. Hmm, maybe it's some stanky socks in the gym, suggests Alligator. Everyone looks under the bleachers and checks behind the ball bins. What is that smell? Gus says. Gross. It's not stanky socks, Alligator says. Hmm, says Gus. Maybe it's some funky gunk from the science room. Pete and his friends check every project in process for the funky gunk, but they still can't find the smell. Woo-wee, says Bob. What is that smell? It's not funky gunk, Pete says. Hmm, Bob thinks. Maybe it's that gloopy glue in the art room. Or we could check the pizza line again, Grumpy Toad suggests. But his friends are already dashing off. Pete and his pals search the art room top to bottom, inside out, high and low. No gloopy glue anywhere. Yikes, says Turtle. What is that smell? We're trying to find out, groans Pete. It's getting worse. Hmm, says Turtle. Maybe it's some nasty trash out in the dumpsters. They head outside to the empty dumpsters. Nope, Turtle sighs. Not a scrap of nasty trash in sight. The smell is stronger than ever. Blah, says Squirrel. What is that smell? Grumpy Toad groans. We don't know. Did you check your shoes? Squirrel asks. Maybe someone has stinky sneakers. Pete and Grumpy Toad check everyone's shoes, but no one has stinky sneakers. Now they all want to know. What, what is, is that, that smell? smell? Spread out, Pete directs. We'll look everywhere. By the time we find the smell, Grumpy Toad grumbles, pizza day will be over. They look under the swings, behind the monkey bars, from the top of the basketball hoop to the bottom of the slide. No one can find the source of the terrible smell. Finally, Grumpy Toad gives up. His tummy gurgles. I think I'll have a snack while I wait for them, he says, and opens his backpack. Uh oh! Uh -oh. Grumpy Toad pulls out an icky, drippy blob from his backpack. Oops, <laughs> he giggles. Pete gasps. Grumpy Toad, that's the smell! Yeah, I think I forgot to eat my snack yesterday, Grumpy Toad says. Or maybe it was last week, or... Callie pinches her nose. But what is it? More like, what was it? Bob says, trying to wave away the smell. Pete and Grumpy Toad throw the mystery blob into the trash. That smelled way worse than rotten radishes, stanky socks, funky gunk, Gloopy glue, nasty trash, and stinky sneakers, all put together, says Grumpy Toad. Totally, Pete agrees. But now that terrible smell is gone. 
And finally, Grumpy Toad cheers, we can eat some pizza. Good friends stick together, even when things are a little stinky.